Hi. So, uh, so are you familiar with uh, Photo Plus and what, what that is? It's a big conference in New York City, happens every year. Mm -hmm. uh, major meeting of the photographic industry, uh, lots of equipment vendors, uh, seminars, you know, workshops, blah, 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 the whole thing. So, so I went there last Wednesday, thanks to uh, Delta Airlines. And um, so I want to share with you some of the some of the things that I found. Check that. I blew into the connector. That's what it was. Oh, okay. So uh, so so first, I want to show you some uh, some uh, just a couple of interesting products uh, from Photo Plus, and then I'll show you some more interesting products. Um, this well, this actually is well, I guess it is a product. Uh, JPEG Mini. So there is a company that's offering smaller uh, software that gives that gives you smaller JPEGs in case your your current JPEGs are too large. But none of us use JPEGs, so who cares? Right. So uh, all right. Um, then here, this company Shenha, they they make uh, view cameras. They make beautiful wooden view cameras. Oh my uh, it's a Chinese company. For years they've been making beautiful <laughs> view cameras. And so this year they have a, a beautiful wooden view camera with a DSLR on the back. Whoa. Using the view camera movements and the DSLR as the, um, uh, as the sensor. So that's, that's very cool. Uh, wooden, wooden tripods. Well, we so what kind of a lens? I mean, you're not using the existing DSLR's lens, are you? Yeah, well, you'd have to use a larger, a large format lens on there yeah. because the DSLR. So it's actually shooting the back plane of the view camera. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so it's going to be a very. So it's a macro you're doing of a four by five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thirty-five millimeter capture from a four by five area. Right. But you could stitch something together. You, have, you know, it's moving. Yeah, there are. Bad. You have to have a, a very wide angle lens on the on the. The DSLR or not, or does it automatically compensate? The it doesn't automatically compensate, but it, it's like cropping a piece of four by five film. So, so it's it's literally like like if your four by five film is like this, the camera is only going to capture oh, that okay. much. So whatever whatever format size the camera is. Right, right, right. right. So okay. That um, this work. So this is kind of cool. Uh, the Loom Cube, Loom Cube. Uh, which is a battery-powered light source that you can uh, drop into your aquarium so that your fish never go to sleep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that, such a, that's a, a really great thing. And then, um, uh, but, but seriously, this, this company was pretty interesting. Um, they sell mobile power supplies like batteries that then can be charged with a small solar panel. And so if, if you're out in the field, if you're, if you're away from electricity, you know, um, they, they, they told me that this particular one has, um, let me see what they say, what, charge up my phone three times, you know, three full charges on the phone, and then it can be regenerated in the field with uh, a little solar panel. And uh, the cost of the whole thing is around a hundred dollars, you know. So it's not that expensive. So, so this, you know, all this mobile energy, solar stuff, uh, um, powering, you know, our devices. Inclusive of the uh, of the uh, solar panel. Yes. No good in Ann Arbor, though. Yes. I mean, well, that's right. You'd have to live in in uh, Utah or Nevada or camera yes, batteries, someplace like that. Um, Some sort of attachment for that. Yeah, so, so you could attach your camera battery charger, charger. To, it. to it, yeah, yeah. as well. Wow. So, or, or if you have a Sony, you can just attach your camera. Yes. Right. So that's kind of interesting. Speaking of Sony, that was a great segue. Thank you. Good, thanks, no problem. Uh, speaking of Sony, uh, Sony introduced the RX1R2, version 2, which is a full frame. Uh, 42 megapixel camera, pocket camera with a fixed lens. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Okay. So, uh, wow. And, and uh, boy, it just feels great. You know, when you have it in your hand, it, it, it feels great and, and until you have to reach for your credit card. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but, How much, by the way? Uh, it's, uh, oh, I don't know. 2000 it's, it's, uh, it's more than you want to pay, yeah. For a camera with a fixed lens, yes. Around 3000 3,000? Oh, 3,000. Yeah, yeah, okay. So, uh, but 
it, oh, oh, and it has this little pop-up viewfinder, you know, which is really yeah. nice, and then you can put the viewfinder back down. But it's a pocket, well, big pocket, um, full-frame camera with a 42 mega. I mean, there's nothing else like it, you know. It's very, very cool. And I was hoping, I, I entered a, a drawing to win one, um, because I thought it was that cool. And, and now, I, I didn't win one, and all I get now is Sony Spam. So. What's the range? Uh, the... Uh, 35 millimeter f2 lens. It's not a zoom lens. Oh, it's, it's a fixed, fixed uh, prime lens. lens. That's lens. Okay. And what is this? What is this little front? It looks like there's a, a circle on it. It's front. a lens hood. Yeah. Lens okay. hood. You should get one for your camera. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> it allows light in on the well, sides? Some cutouts, yeah. Uh -huh. I've never seen one with cutouts. Yeah. Yeah. Sony has their own way of doing it. Leica has lens hoods like that as well. Do you have a Leica? Hmm. Yeah, right, yeah. All right. Uh, oh, the Canon 5DS. And, and so, so I'm, I'm referencing this because, um, because he calls it the world's best DSLR. I love that, you know, the world's best DSLR. 50 megapixels, new camera from uh, Canon. It comes in two flavors, uh, the S and the SR. Uh, the SR has, a, has an anti-aliasing filter that can be either turned down to different levels or completely turned off. So, so that's, you know, it's kind of interesting. The idea is you get more sharpness when you, when you turn it off. Um, the camera, and I made some images with the camera, it, it's very much like a 5D Mark III. Those, how many of you have one of those? Oh, well, forget it. You don't know what it's like then. Uh, but it's very much like, like the Canon full-frame camera. The buttons are all in the same place, which is good news if, if you're thinking about getting one. And it has a 50-5-0 uh, megapixel sensor. So that's, I think that's now the largest DSL sensor um, that's out there. Uh, so it's pretty interesting. However, uh, I have some questions about the images I made with it. it. It seems to have something like, do you know what chromatic aberration is yeah. when you yeah. get yeah. Uh, magenta? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so it has something like that, but it doesn't go away. So oh. I'm going to talk to Canon and see what's going on with in, that. In the lens? Well, I guess. It looks like chromatic aber aberration. It's in, it's in the file. I'm, I'm going to show you the file. Okay. Um, so anyway. Oh, you know that? No, it's what it says. You can't very, it very interesting camera. Uh, and then, um, this is something that you might be interested in, especially those of you who travel. This is the uh, Western Digital, and, and this has been out for a little while, uh, the My Passport Wireless. So it's a, it's a wireless portable hard drive that has a built-in SD card slot so that you can... Uh, just put your card in there and download images to the portable drive. And you can also, I mean, you could send images from your camera to the portable drive, but it might take a while. Uh, and, and so I, I thought that was, that was pretty interesting. And they're, what they're doing with their wireless technology is, is they're, um, they're letting you set up something that's like your own cloud where you can you can store all your images on a on a Western Digital Drive, and then access those images from anywhere that you have internet access. And so, so that could be pretty cool at the same time. What capacities are they? Are they uh, variable, I presume. I think I think they're like uh, one and two um, terabytes, something yeah. like that. Yeah, you can check it out on the Western Digital site. So, so it's. Um, I thought that was pretty interesting technology. Now, does that yeah. uh, you, 500, one and two? Do you do you, ch you keep that charged then so that it works? Is is that like it's like a regular? Yeah. Whatever. It doesn't have to be attached to a computer or anything. It's its own self-serving. Correct. Storage. Well, it needs USB power. Is all it needs. Yeah, you can hook it up and charge it. Then you got But if you don't have a computer, can you just charge it from the wall? I can't think of when you're traveling. Yeah, yeah, it's the same thing you'd use to charge your phone. Uh, well, unless okay. you have an app. Okay, great. Yeah. So, so, but your point is you may not need a computer when traveling. You can take this and Well, that's what images. I was thinking. Yeah. yeah, if you got your iPhone, you've got the computer. Oh, but it's not doesn't you have a viewfinder, though, does it? No, you can't view images on it, yeah. So anyway, you might want to go to Western Western Digital and check that out. Okay. Uh, and and finally, I I 
I think they have them at Best Buy. I, I saw How something. How much are they? I'm trying to remember. Mm -hmm. I, because people used to take, there was something else people used to take long ago, you know. That's right. Um, That's there right. was a, a portable uh, uh, readers and, and yeah. Right. Holder. Yeah, we all had one of those in things. Lieu of, and, in lieu of a um, computer. Yeah. yeah, this is the 21st century version of it. Yeah, okay. Okay, so anyway, I got some, and just to prove to you, I was there, I took a picture of the <laughs> sign that says New York. Uh, and then, of course, in oh. New York, you, uh, oh man, oh, you just want to go to B&H. That's how you really know you're in New York, when, when you walk into B&H. How many of you have been to B&H? Yeah, okay. Uh, if you haven't been there, you should, you should go oh, to the store. Go there be, <laughs> before, uh, yeah, that's the first place you want to go. Before and, it disappears. And conveniently, my hotel was a block away, so oh. um, that's great. And so you go to B&H before you go to the uh, Empire State Building. That's what's in the background. Okay. So you can tell you're in New York because they have skyscrapers, and and this is part of the um, World Trade, the former World Trade Center area, and there's a lot of building going on in New York, and they have this place where there are all these cranes. This is near the Javits Center, and it was so cool to stand there, and these cranes were just like doing a ballet, you know? It was wow, it was it was very cool. Um, and let me show you what was going on uh, uh, in here. Can you see that it's a little magenta in here? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's that's this is with the Canon uh, 50 megapixel camera, and so there's something funny going on in there, and I enlarge it, and it, it looks like chromatic aberration, but none of the none of those controls fix it, and then, so I'm I'm hoping Canon figures out a way to, I'm sure they will figure out a way to do it. Does it displace it like on an edge? I yeah. Mean. Yeah, it's on the edge. Yeah. But for an odd edge. Was Sony was that with Sony? Terry was that with not that with Terry, was that with the, the one with the anti, did it have the anti-aliasing filter? No. Oh, you were using one without? Yeah. Yeah, that, that might be part of the story with that. It could have something to do with yeah. it, yeah. But, but, that, but that camera is very cool because, because you can, you can uh, completely disable it or partially disable it. Wow. And you can also uh, change the size of the image in the viewfinder. You know, so so you can crop 50 mm -hmm. megapixels, right? So you can crop it uh, in the viewfinder and basically extend the length of your lens. I mean, there, there's some cool things going on in there. Wow. Well, that but you're still you're using that many less megapixels. Yes. How many yes. do you need? So it's no different than shooting it than cropping it in Photoshop. Correct. That's right. That's Correct. But you can do it in camera and see what you're what you're doing. Right. You know, uh, <laughs> Zeiss. Had some beautiful lenses on on display in their uh, in their Zeiss place. Uh, they're making lenses for a lot of people. Sigma, uh, very busy. Sigma has this new 20 millimeter f 1.4 lens for full point full frame cameras. It's the fastest 20 millimeter lens on the market. This week, if that's important. Uh, and then and then there are all these places. Okay. With uh, with drones, you know, oh, lot, no. so drones were like a really hot thing, you know, and um, people, you know, they, they had these little cages where you could fly the drone and, you know, all this stuff, and uh, wow, so that that was very exciting. How many of you have a drone? No. So did you see any camcorders? Camcorders? Yes. <laughs> but somebody remarked that camcorders were gone and all there was was drones. Oh, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, here's the <coughs> world's biggest ring flash. <laughs> Does it really work? Yes, it works, yeah. What kind of lens do you put it on? So I was at a, <laughs> <laughs> right. so the whole camera sticks through here. I was, I was at a party where, um, where they were doing portraits with, with this uh, um, light. Yeah, I won't call it ring flash. All kinds of modifiers and, and light sources. A lot of battery-operated light sources, you know, so, so not strobes, uh, not incandescent uh, lights, but battery-operated ones, which produced uh, a lot of light and were very powerful and also very expensive, but, you know, hopefully the price will come down. And not hot. Pretty much LED? And not hot, yeah, and they're LEDs, yeah. So they're cool lights. And you can carry it around. Like, the light is this big. 
And, and so you can just hold it in one hand and photograph with the other hand. Uh, I mean, really, really cool uh, light sources. And so, so we're all going to throw away our flashes because that, that's going to be the next thing. So how much was that chest set, Sue, uh, Terry? <laughs> yeah, well, well, with this piece, it's very expensive. <laughs> Yeah, isn't that funny? So Lens Rentals, they, they had this thing going on where, where you could play chess with them using their lenses <laughs> on, the, on the rubber mat. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Uh, lots of models getting photographed. Uh, view camera type devices, you know, so Bellows, medium format, digital back, view camera lenses on all kinds of, uh, all kinds of bases, you know, so that you get tilts and, and shifts and movements. Uh, Scott Kelby asking people to throw money on the stage. Yeah. Uh, no, that's not what he was doing. They gave a great seminar. Nikon had this cake uh, booth, and so these women were busy for three days making things with cake stuff, and then people were photographing it. I don't know why. Uh, um, uh what's his name? Uh, at Nikon. Um, uh, you know McNally. what? McNally. Thank you. Yeah, McNally. Um, doing a doing a demonstration of off camera flash speed light photography mm -hmm. in a soft box, you know, with the assistant holding a stick. Pretty interesting stuff. And this is all going on at once. Uh, yeah, uh -huh. looking through the new Nikon lenses. Uh, this guy's looking for a stool to stand on. Uh, cleaning all the companies had uh, technicians there to to perform uh, uh, cleaning of the camera. So you just bring in your camera, hand it to them, and they, they clean it for you. Wow. That's pretty neat that they employ samurai warriors to uh... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's... Yeah. This is, uh, so I, I, uh, someone told me that the, they had lenses uh, half off. And um, yes. sure enough, yeah, <laughs> the other half was missing. Yeah, so they, you know, they cut them in half, and, and I, I just think that's very cool. You know, seeing seeing how the lens works and half of it there. Okay, this woman. Uh, uh, the, so uh, one of the com I forget which company, but they. Um, so there was this this woman who was playing pool uh, with this guy. He was a participant. Turns out she is she's like a world champion uh, billiards player, and uh, you know he thought maybe he was going to make some money. And, um, <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then they had cameras set up so you could photograph that. Uh, and so this is an example. Like here's here's the camera, and you know the yeah. So you could take a picture of them if you wanted to. I don't know why you would. <laughs> Photokina is coming up in September of this year. I think Dietmar's already there, right? He's, he's not here. So, and they had M&Ms for Photokina. Linhof view cameras, you know, it's nice to see them showing things. Linhof um, uh, panoramic cameras, 6x17 six, six panoramic camera. More Linhof small view cameras with digital backs on them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How much are those things worth? Uh, dude, it's a lot of money. I, I yeah. don't know exactly, but it's a lot. You know, there's a Linhoff, the Linhoff person demonstrating the camera. More view cameras. You know, we teach two view camera courses here. Uh, here's a here's a view camera style device. So this is a uh, a digital SLR with a, a flexible bellows in between and a Hasselblad lens mm -hmm. on the front. Mm. Hasselblad lens because it has a large image circle so that when you employ the movements uh, it doesn't cut off the image of the camera. So that, that's kind of interesting stuff. This is very interesting. Camera straps. Um, pen, how many of you had a Pentax 6x7 uh, SLR camera? Greg did, yeah. And then, and then this was your dream lens, right? I think it's, a, I think it's an 800 millimeter or something like that. And, yeah. Uh, but nobody... Pretty good size F stuff too. This guy's having a neck necktie. Uh, <laughs> thing. <laughs> Looks like he knows Dilbert. <laughs> yeah. These. Uh, uh, this Boy woman. Model. She's uh, you know one of the models and just yeah. There's nothing to do. Okay. And then this guy. Uh, he's the one. If you're interested in Sony cameras, you want to you want to contact him. He's the guy who decides what features the Sony cameras have. And boy, did I have a lot to talk to him about, but he was never available. Uh, and so, but, but he's the guy. That was kind of interesting. He was talking about how they make decisions about... <laughs> Greg's making gestures. About, um, about what to put in the camera. Uh, I almost got hit by that car going to B&H. 
Okay. And then, uh, oh boy, this was this made me feel good. Please. <laughs> the Amtrak prisoner transport vehicle. So those of you who have ridden tran uh, Amtrak, you know that they have lots of prisoners uh, on the train that they have to get off and transport somewhere. I, I don't know. Uh, this is the uh, Chrysler building. I actually, that's the first time I've ever been to the Chrysler building. And uh, it was a lot smaller than I thought. It's the mini Chrysler. Uh, so <laughs> So look, they all have these big, huge, big rubber bumpers because apparently people get smashed oh, into a lot. Interesting. Mm. And then this, uh, uh, at uh, well, about I don't know, one o'clock in the morning, I rode the elevator with these guys <laughs> uh, to go to a party in a photographer's studio with a bunch of other photographers. And man, was that ever fun! Uh, but I, I can't. Oh, and this is what part of what was going on at the party. <laughs> wow. She's the, uh, the woman with the hat. She's the Attorney General of the state of New York. <laughs> <laughs> I have, oh my god, there's a clip of the party. Okay, here, I'll just show you a little more. More view camera stuff, uh, more cake, uh, more people talking about cameras and stuff. Ah, here's the new Leica SL. So this is a 40, basically it has the Sony uh, 42 megapixel full frame sensor in a Leica camera body. Uh, it was a very nice camera. Mm, it seems like something I would really enjoy using, but um, my time? kids still have to go to college, so. You know, that's, uh, <laughs> oh, that's how much was it? 10 grand? Nine, ten, ten grand. It's, I think the body's around eight, and it's then nine. the lenses are, you know, additional. Yeah. More. Yeah. I mean, like another eight. <laughs> oh, I've seen him. This. I, I was trying to look like the guy with the balloon. <laughs> <laughs> Very creative. Uh, more cranes. Is this before they? No. Um, oh, trains. And and then here are some images of other things that I was attracted to in New York. I found the netting at the construction site to be pretty interesting. The buildings and. The Reflections and the, I don't know who they are, but, but uh, one of them, that guy, I think, was my no, server. No, they're Carson's assistants. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's what happened Death Avenue, yeah, that was a restaurant. I, I didn't go there. Okay, and so... Um, oh! Oh, yeah. Look at that! So they have rent -a bikes all over New York. It's really cool, and people are people are renting them and riding the bikes. People um, also use them as exercise bikes uh, while they're in the rack. Oh really? <laughs> 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 no, no, yeah. I learned the hard way that that if you get in a taxi, you really can't go anywhere because of gridlock. So a bike yeah. is a really good idea. Um, so you like the High Line? Yeah, oh my god, yeah. I was I was walking down the one the one afternoon I got out I went down the high line, it was great. Found these people and uh, all these a lot of their shots I, I can see they're from the high line. From the high yeah, it's a new section of the high line. Yeah. Uh, they just opened another section? Uh thirty thirty fourth street, yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a new section. There's my mm -hmm. hotel, mm -hmm. it's just, well it's a subway and yeah. Mm -hmm. This is parking. parking. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Well, and then, oh my gosh. <laughs> and then I, I saw the three of them, and I, and I said, you know, if, if you could all just just take the same expression for a minute, uh, you know, and just kind of give me all the same look, then I'll take your picture. Yeah. And so, so this this one is sitting on her lap. Oh, and look you know. what his foot is. What his foot on? What his foot on? That is beautiful. Yeah, that she wasn't going great. anywhere, you know. That is great. That is just great. I was in a cafe when I saw oh, this, and, and I knew I, I, you know, I probably wouldn't have time to go out. So boom, I just, you know, oh. ran through the window. Uh, wow, that's the new Freedom Tower, I believe. Uh, that's gorgeous. That's lovely. This is the um, the statue of. Um, yeah. <laughs> statue or is a statue? Of not true. What camera are you using to take these pictures? Uh, I'm using a Fuji XT1. Are you happy with it? Yeah, I love it. Mm, in, <laughs> this is an indoor park. It's really not an indoor park. It's a, it's a place where you can park indoors. Yes. I, was, I was disappointed. Um, and so the, so the Fuji... 
takes uh, oh, I love that. does uh, multiple exposures in camera. You know, a lot of cameras cool. now do multiple exposures in camera. So I was playing around with that. You know? And uh, and then I'm just I would just like to show you one. Um, I'm just going to whiz through these. One artist, because um, I, I spent an afternoon in the Chelsea Galleries, um, and there was one particular. Here we go. Um, oh, she's she she was the subject of a Penny Stamps lecture about three weeks ago here. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Was she here? She was here. Oh my God. Really interesting. Yeah. Did you go to the lecture? Yeah. Yeah. So. So look at her photographs. She showed lots of them. It was a wonderful picture. Is she African? Yeah. Yeah, she's from South Africa. She's out of Africa. She's a lesbian and she's wonderful with women's pictures. Yeah, yeah. And she's, she's done a lot of innovative photography um, of gay people in South Africa. Just incredible photographs. Um, uh, probably 24 by 30 inch prints, uh, darkroom prints, you know, silver based prints. Beautiful, uh, just beautiful light, beautiful tonal quality. Very, very compelling images. Uh, are they playing tonight? Yes. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, wow. all right, that's uh, Photo Plus. Any uh, any questions? Yeah. Uh -huh. What are sort of mirrorless cameras that are in a prosumer range? Okay. So uh, so Sony, uh, and I didn't mention the Sony A seven R two or the A seven S two, both of which are very new cameras. Forty. Uh, the A seven R two has a forty two megapixel sensor. My buddy at B and H, he said he said. Just buy it. It's the best camera in the world. That, that's what he said. And, um, uh, and he said they're selling 20 of them a day at B&H. Which one is this one? Uh, A7R2. It's about $3,200. And what does it have over the 7R? It's got, what, four or five more megapixels. It has, it has well, it, it, yes. It has more megapixels. It has um, uh, much faster autofocus. And it has uh, five-way image stabilization. So oh, and that's built in the camera built instead in of in the, the lens. Camera. So any any lens you put on there is image stabilized. It has a quiet shutter. It it has no shutter bounce, so they say. And um, I think you can shift it to just an all electronic shutter. Too. Yes, and you can yeah. right. Uh, and so it you know it has it has a lot. So basically, people are saying, well, what they did to you know they they sort of you know fixed up the stuff that, you know, they should have fixed up before they released the first one. Um, but but it, still has, it still has the Sony interface, which, uh, and the reason that I switched to Fuji is that, is that Fuji has, I, I don't have to go into the menu to change the things I want to change, those things are right there. Um, Sony, you know, I have to go yeah. into the menu more often, and, yeah. and for my way of working, I just don't like that. Yeah. But, um, but it, it, it's a, it, camera feels good, uh, I, I tried it with Canon lenses and an adapter, and the thing focused just like that, just like a Canon camera. It's very fast, and um, you know it, it. It seems seems like a nice camera. I have some images that I made with it. Um, you know, files are nice. Uh, Canon files are nice. So, yeah. So, so Sony, uh, Fuji, Olympus, maybe Panasonic. But I. I so I would. Uh, I'm sorry. Where's Mel? And Panasonic. Uh, those are the, the. Am I leaving anyone out? Those are those are probably the major players in in mirrorless right now. And I think you can see the Sony and the Fuji at Camera Mall uh, downtown. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Terry. Thank you. Thank you very much.